Hey guys, Eric Energy here in our virtual studio. We've got a great chemical reaction video for you. It's called Genie in a Bottle. Now with all the science experiments, you gotta be safe, but for this particular experiment, we're using some particularly dangerous chemicals where we need safety glasses and safety uh, lab wear. So here we go. We've got this Genie bottle right here, and uh, we've heard that there's a Genie inside. So go ahead, let's open it up, see what happens. Oh baby. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Say something to the genie. I wish for a new bike. Oh boy, here he comes. Oh boy, or it could be a she. Here we go. Oh yeah. As you can see, there's definitely a reaction occurring. We mix two chemicals together to get that cool reaction. So now, we're actually going to tell you how we did it. <clears throat> But it's not done yet, look at that. It's still going. Now, uh, Lightning Levi, take a feel, take a really light touch of this. You can see that this is already really hot because this is what's called an exothermic reaction. It's creating heat. This is really, really a lot warmer than it was. Now, the genie has uh, gone away. So now we're gonna take a look at this. Erlenmeyer flask and inside there's a liquid. The liquid is what was in the bottom of this genie bottle. It's hydrogen peroxide, but it's not the hydrogen peroxide that you have in your bathroom. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is usually about 5% strong. This hydrogen peroxide is 35% strong. It is food grade hydrogen peroxide. That's what we put at the bottom of the container. Then what we did is we hooked up uh, some of this chemical right here is called manganese dioxide. Manganese dioxide is found in batteries. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this manganese dioxide. We wrapped it up in some toilet paper. And what we did is we put it right on top of this thing so that when we took off the cap, all of a sudden it dropped in. Now, take a look at this chemical reaction because that manganese dioxide is reacting with the hydrogen peroxide and creating an exothermic reaction. Pretty cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to our virtual studios. We'll see you soon.